Hey there, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. Hollywood has always been full of larger-than-life characters, most of them big stars famous for their on-screen performances. Occasionally, their off-screen behavior as well. But often, those big personalities were behind the camera, men like director William Wild Bill Wellman. Wellman earned that nickname, Wild Bill, making mostly macho movies in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. He directed violent early crime thrillers like The Public Enemy in 1931, tough and uncompromising westerns like 1943's The Oxbow Incident, and war films like Battleground in 1949. But up next, we're going to show a softer side of Wild Bill Wellman, a film that became one of Wellman's favorites. Released in 1956, it's Goodbye, My Lady. Based on a novel by James H. Street, the story is set in the hot, steamy swamps of the American South where a young boy lives with his elderly uncle. Then the boy finds a stray dog, becomes attached to the dog. The boy is played by 13-year-old Brandon DeWilda, who had already established himself as one of the top child stars of the era. Two years before, DeWilda earned an Oscar nomination in director George Stevens' epic western Shane. The uncle in Goodbye, My Lady is played by Walter Brennan. And though Brennan's name may not stand out to many young moviegoers today, he's the only person ever to win three Oscars for Best Supporting Actor. He won the first year the Academy gave out the award, and then he won again two years later and picked up his third win two years after that. So three of the first five Oscars for Best Supporting Actor went to Walter Brennan. Here he is 20 years after his first win in a movie released by Warner Brothers and produced by John Wayne's production company, Bat Jack Productions. From 1956, also with Phil Harris and Sidney Poitier. Goodbye, my lady. Mm -hmm. 